Well, you could be forgiven for thinking that fitting an alarm system to your caravan is gonna be a pretty technical thing to do. When in fact, when it comes to RV Secure, they've made it really, really easy to do. And I'll show you why. Now this here is the Platinum X from RV Secure. This is the Gen 2 model, and they've made installation super simple, super easy. Now, I'm about to throw one of these straight into my dad's caravan here, and I thought, while I'm at it, I'll run you through the process. Now, of course, we've got the main control module here. This is the brains of the operation. But then we've also got a panic switch, a motion detector, or PIR, and a reed switch. Now, these are all wireless, so it means you can mount them pretty well anywhere in the caravan, and there's no wiring you've got to muck around with. Then we've got our siren. Trust me, that packs a punch. We've got our little keypads here to activate the alarm and turn it back off. And then we've got some stickers as well, just to let intruders know, hey, we're pretty well protected here. So the only additional things you'll need is some extra cabling. So I've run with some uh, twin core and also some tri-core, triple core, three core you could call it. Um, a little bit of conduit and some basic tools, some wire crimpers, some side cutters and a drill. We've got some instructions too. You can print these out off the website. Nice and simple to follow. Now with that in mind, let's get stuck into it. So the first thing we're gonna do is fit this main control module here. Now it needs to be fit in a nice and flat location. It needs to be nice and straight so the internal motion sensors can work, but you can fit it north, south, or east, west. And I've found a perfect little spot just in here. All right, so the next step is I'm just gonna run my power and earth. Now I've got some twin core cable and I've just spotted we've actually got a fuse block there with a spare terminal. So I'm gonna plumb the power up to that one. Uh, now if you don't have a fuse block already fitted, you can run just an inline fuse, run it straight to your battery, easy done. So with your power and earth sorted, it's time to drop the three core wire down underneath so we can tap in to those brake line wires. Now it's best, obviously, these wires are going underneath, so make sure they're well protected. Use a bit of sheath or a bit of conduit, and they'll last forever. So the best thing to do is actually start tracking back all your auxiliary wires from the auxiliary plug right up the front. And if you're lucky enough, your caravan will have a junction box where all the wires meet and join that you can access. So I'm actually lucky enough, to, we've got some sort of a, um, a terminal bridge here, which allows me to actually just plug straight into it. There's a few spare terminals. Now, if you don't have one of these, you can cut the wires that you need and you're gonna need to join them back together. So solder them back together if possible. If not, one of those joiner terminals, uh, like the crimping terminals, they'll do the job as well. Just remember to heat shrink them to make sure nothing gets inside and it's gonna be nice and easy. Now for this one, it's pretty simple. The red wire that comes from your main harness, that's for your stop lights. The blue wire should be for your electric brakes and the brown wire is for your park lights. And that's all the wiring, simple as. Now it's just time to fit all the wireless sensors and I think I'm gonna start with the reed switch for the door. So I'm actually gonna mount this siren up now and I've chosen to fit it in this uh, compartment box here. Now, if it's not quite loud enough, you can mount it outside, but you're gonna need the extension cable, which is available on the website as well. It's the moment of truth. Everything's plugged in, the sensors are all mounted up, and all I've gotta do is press this little button. How good's that? Now let's see if the alarm goes off like it should. Now that is absolutely unreal. And I'll tell you what, it only took me about an hour or so. And for that amount of time, this caravan is a heck of a lot more safer. Couldn't be prouder.